Yeah. Friday morning, a little frothy out. Well, you can tell on my windshield, I can actually see fine. <laughs> Spot there, but heading to my buddy's mechanic shop. Ah, 34 degrees. I'm supposed to get up to near 60 today, and the weekend's gonna get like near 70, I heard. So, man. Spring like conditions coming back for only a few days. But yeah, I'm going to get that squeaking noise checked out on my suspension. So I really don't know what it is exactly. So, I'm going to get up there first thing, which I'm going to do, and we'll get it checked out. See if it's something major or something minor. Wow, heavy traffic this morning. Great. Oh, I can squeeze on through. Barely. Can't even see the gas prices at BP. 145. I'm still sitting on a full tank. Alright, good, we can go. Right around a ride. Oh, looks like the school buses are out. Actually, coming this way to try to avoid them, but no, no, they're here too on the main road. Uh, windshield cleaned up quite nicely. Breaking through the traffic now. Uh, loaded car lots. The old Exxon's 138. Sure, just cut me off, goof. Hey, yeah, we're near the school. Middle school, I guess. And of course the signal isn't gonna work with us. That's gotta be a fun job. Throwing out pine needles. Yep, we got traffic behind us as far as you can see. Traffic in front of us. Great. Probably should have taken the back roads. I don't know. <laughs> well, have fun with the pine needles. Little Harley hogs in a hurry, it looks like. People just cutting out from the median, too. Good. Oh, and even better, we got the police hanging out in the median. Great. You're not going to find any speeders here, dude. We're all stuck in traffic. Might help if uh, you uh, got out and kind of directed a bit. I don't know. Could be nice. Oh, there goes that one. Cut us off earlier. All right. So we're going nowhere real fast. Getting the far right lane anyway. Jeeper stopping at Burger King for breakfast. Well, have fun there, Jeeper. Pizza Hut Wing Street. What? Are these? So that's their new advertisement for selling wings, I guess. <laughs> All right, continuing on. There's another Jeep with a snorkel on it. Oh, well, that's special. I finally made it to my buddy's shop. Man, morning rush. Fun. Oh, there's a beautiful Ford. Nice front bumper. <laughs> Still not open yet? Well, yeah, hear that squeaking? That's why I want to get checked out. See if that's something major, something minor. And I guess I'll make a decision as to if I'm going to get it fixed or not, or if I can put it off. So, stand by. Oh, push the car. <laughs> yeah. Butamus. The Butamus staying engineless now, huh? Wow. Out. It's out. <laughs> Coming along. It looks good, though.
Mm. Smells like burning oil on the manifolds and the exhaust. Yeah, mm. Fun smell. Yeah. Flat of cardboard for oil drips. Jeez. Yeah, mine was like that. Mine actually, uh, my old 78 Cutlass I drove from Charleston had an oil leak so bad it actually caught fire on one of the spark plugs. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a jug of water, luckily, and I was able to put it out, you know. <laughs> Kept on driving. That was crazy. Good old days, back in the late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> hey, the Earl truck is here, ready to pump and replace, I guess. Yeah, oil truck is done, but no, no. We got somebody hogging the whole, the whole uh, entrance way here, so he can't get out. <laughs> Fine job, dude. Fine job. Now, to replace the wheel bearing on that, you just replace the whole hub. Nice. Technology these days. Isn't that great? Wow. All right, the intake's ready to come off. Where's my lone connector? There he is. <laughs> Still. Oh man. Yeah, I don't think I could do this for a living. It was a, it was fun as a hobby, but. Psh. No, really. <laughs> I just don't think I have the patience for it. It's not it. the cars, man. It's usually it's usually the customers. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, customers. That's cars true. Cars are normally not the problem. Right. It's, it's unfortunately it's people. Wow. What? It's going to cost me that much? What? i got to wait two days? Yeah, but they'll go drop a few hundred dollars on a new cell phone every six months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, i got to have to see. Need, but you got it. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> people, what the hell's wrong? Yeah. Where's your priorities at? If it wasn't for this car, you couldn't go and get that phone. Yeah. You couldn't go to work to pay for that phone. It's yeah. Like, you don't change the oil. and. Yeah. No kidding. It's crazy. There it is. When your car breaks, yep. it is your car. Yeah, and then you got to take a loan out to pay the mechanic bill. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there it is, finally. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't need this, I throw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> All wallowed out? That yeah. Was bushing, huh? Was. <laughs> I hope I don't have that issue on my truck. I'm going to be freaking out. I'll be like, no! That one looks good. Oh, it's making an awful racket, man. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> Smelly. Mm. Valve cover's off. Beautiful. Dude, that is caked on. It's dried on, caked on, burned on. Wow. Some oven off, man. Well, I, I was afraid to I'd break some of that stuff off. Yeah, I ain't touching it. I'll just work around that. Yeah, work around it. <laughs> yeah, that's beautimus. <laughs> oh, he's got a problem with oil pressure? Yeah, it's probably got crap caked in there. So, yeah, this motor may not last much longer. They haven't been getting regular oil changes, apparently. It's only got 175,000 miles on it. That's That thing is burnt. Burnt on there. Wow. Amazing what comes into a shop these days. Make it legal. Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's not too caked. So where's the crack? Oh, yeah, crack there. Yeah, and another one right there. Right there. Oh, there it is. Nice. Explains why it's poor. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's holding it back. <laughs> okay, it's ball time. Yeah, new gasket. Purdy. Yeah, I like that A-frame. That's... That's wow, metal to metal. If it's in South Carolina, no. If it comes from another state, yes. Hey, hey the hoopty, the the pimp mobile is rolling in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Styling and profiling. And all you need is the, the fuzzy dice and all the little dingle balls hanging from the windshield. And 
<laughs> the pimp, pimp my ride. <laughs> you can fit no, it's in pretty good shape for a land yacht. Burham de Elegance. Nice. Oh, man, they are. Look at that. Wow. Even got the big two inch tow hitch on it, so this thing's ready for hauling a camper. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, wire casts and all. Yeah. I know. Uh -oh. Wow. It's like, uh, what do you call those kind of seats with the uh, buttons? It's like, pl not plush, but. Is it button tuck? Yeah, button tuck. That's it. That's it. Nice. Man, I'm on the truth. Five seven in it. Oh, it was a five seven. I was thinking maybe like a four fifty five. Five seven. It is five seven. Three fifty. Yeah, no kidding. Man. Yeah, we got something. It ran smooth in here too. How many miles is on it? 180,000. 180,000, that's it. Wow. Heck yeah. Man, put some hydraulics on this thing? No. No. <laughs> Little tiny ass wheel. Yeah. Was it just getting an oil change? Certain things out's correct. Nice. Cool. Have fun with the with the hoopty. I will. <laughs> Man, this is me all day long. That's you all day. <laughs> That's what you should have got instead of that damn truck. Yeah. Door probably wouldn't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> there you probably go. Now off that wow. Firestone. Yeah. Woo. 1991 Caddy. Wow. Not too bad. Just slap a slap one of them sparkly paint jobs on it. You're ready to go. Pick up the honeys. <laughs> oh, I heart Guam, where America's day begins. Yeah, so love to go there one day. Uh, yeah, the Taco Bell sign was brought down yesterday. The purple thing underneath the bell, dead center. That's the sign. It's huge. And when they brought it down, they said it was taller than the building. <laughs> How to put a valve cover gasket on. Yeah. The right way. The right way. Yeah, flip it over. There you go. So which way is you know, Which go. way is right? There we go. That's <laughs> not the right way. Nice. Oh look. Butamus. It's back. No uh, no sealant or anything? No silicone? No, or? not on this guy. Not on that one, just snap it in or yeah, make these little clips. Like a little clips to They'll just hold it in so it don't fall out. Nice. While I'm putting it in. Well, that's simple. You don't have to use any monkey snot or anything. Uh, <laughs> if it didn't have these, I'd put some on it because I don't yeah. want it to move. Right. Yeah, simple as that. Hey, there goes the hoopty. Oil change all. <laughs> Styling and profiling. Hey, they're taking that big, big. Taco Bell sign apart. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably too big to put on the truck. <laughs> it may have been dangerous to leave it upright. Couldn't strap it down properly. Yeah, there's the bell. That's cold. Wow. Yep. Griswolds, man. Turn that sucker on. <laughs> Yep, they cut it in half. Yeah, they're setting it down now so you can't see it. Cool. Woo, almost got the Nissan back together. X-Terra. <laughs> yep, there's the other half of the sign. Taco Bell drive through Look, you can tell. That's a nice trailer. Yeah, it is. No more Taco Bell sign. That was a big giant one, too. <laughs> And a little bit of leakage on that one. Yep, yeah, moving a big old barrel now. How dumb is that? Wow, a good place to put your hood latch. <laughs> right on top of the battery. That's, I think it's overfill. <laughs> oh, Mercedes. Purdy. 
What's going on with this one? Oh, I need some brake work. Oh, brakes. Oh, sounds like fun. Yeah. There, there's Big Red. We're ready to bring it in and we'll see what's squeaking. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that is, that is loud. Week. Man, that's three damn ridiculous. Well, let's see what we got. Sounds like the right one. Oh, it might be both actually, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have I'd rather have your noise. <laughs> Yeah, it's just been getting worse and worse. I was like the right side. Unimus. <laughs> yeah, I need a little bit of air. It's got a slow leak I cannot find either. Really? Yeah. I might need to do that then. Yeah. Taking it out. That's my price. Just the lower, lower ball joints. Brake sakes. Just cannot afford that right now. <laughs> wow. I might have to live with that for a little while because, yeah, almost $500 just lowers. If I do the uppers, crap. Uppers would be pushing $700 mark. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we're looking almost $500 just for the lowers. And if we do the uppers, it would be pushing, man, over 700 Yeah, that's just way too much. I did not think I would be um, pushing that amount. But unfortunately, it is what it is. So that'll probably be for another day. Well, we'll drive by Taco Bell. Yep, signs loaded up. Yeah, city ordinance has made all the businesses around here take their giant signs down. No, I still don't know what they're building there. And uh, you got to have little stumps, you know, something like that. That little sign right there, that's what you got to have now. So, yeah, it's supposed to clean things up in the city. Well, I guess it does. And then if you're trying to find something, you know, a sign like that will, uh, you know, you can easily miss it if you're driving, driving by. So, yep. Oh, well, so we know it's the upper and lower ball joints. So, yeah, I even asked my buddy, would he do it for a side job? He says he's pretty much gotten away from doing side work now. So, yeah, unfortunately, may have to pay full price but like I said I'm, I'm just not ready to pay that much not right now especially since I don't drive this thing every day they said it's safe to drive it's just annoying you know noisy and annoying which I agree but it's been like this now for a couple of years I mean 
and they checked it out, it's, you know, just the noise you have to deal with. So, you know, paying between five to $700 to get rid of a noise, well, I guess I can just live with it a little while longer. So, anyway, back to the house we go. After we take a quick peek at the uh, trailer in shed heaven. Place is loaded up with trailers and sheds. Huh. Yeah, there's the old big rig and Camaro back to back to back. Trash in the road looks like a tar. Well, at least we got the green. Oh, come on, people. Dude's going left. We can get around him. Well, still, it's kind of fun getting up to the shop, seeing the junk coming in. Seeing the caked up oil inside that Nissan Xterra and that hoopty Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, I told the guys, hell, if you got something you need coming in the shop, give me a give me a holler. <laughs> I'd like to come up there and see some of the, you know, like every day there's always something unique coming in. That, that'd make for great video, I'm sure. But they can't do it because again they're you know working and all that so all right we'll just get back on the main road home well, everybody going left this time yeah figures all right we got the left arrow let's go people oh, squeak 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 all the way home yeah, I'm just gonna have to live with this for a while We enjoyed this to and fro adventure to my buddy's mechanic shop to find out my ball joints are going bad. So, until next time, adios.